Hey, what's up guys? I'm Alan Hain and I'm the Lawn Care Nut. So I'm going to do something that I swore I would never do. Limp microphone and all. And that is do one of these thank you subscriber videos. Because I always thought they were kind of cheesy. But you know, tonight I was watching some videos of some other people that I subscribe to their channels. And some kind of hit me that was uh, pretty important. But before we talk about that, let's share a craft beer. It's Friday night. Everybody has worked super hard this week. You guys have done a great job at your job. Whatever you do, you've put in 110%. And you know what we do on Friday nights? Besides the fact that right now I'm watching the Chicago Bears take on the Philadelphia Eagles up there on the primetime TV, right? Preseason football. Besides doing that, you know what we do? We kick back with a craft beer, a good old American craft beer. So tonight I have got Red Hooks, Red Hooks ESB. This is great. Extra special bitter is the style here. It's not something I typically drink, but actually these guys, Red Hook Brewing, they do a great job, and uh, they really get a nice bitterness in here. Extra special bitter, right? So those of us who are hop heads, you know, we're expecting to get a nice, you know, twang, but an ESB isn't necessarily hop forward, even though it says bitter in the title. Um, it's kind of a British thing. Cheers to my buddy Chris Hyam, who's been my friend in lawn care for many years. I know that this is a beer he should drink. He is native of England. Anyway, this is great though. ESB from Red Hook. Cheers. This is a good one. Actually, if you're somebody that's kind of newer to craft beer, this might be a nice progression for you. If you've had some of the Blue Moons and things like that, maybe a little um, Goose Island 312, you're ready for something a little bit. Maybe you like Sam Adams, right? You're looking for something a little bit different. Just a next progression. I would say extra special bitter, bitter extra special bitter might be a good style for you to try so cheers this is my northwest indiana landscapers association glass i mean i'm <laughs> i'm pulling all the plugs tonight but uh so anyway something really made me cool so i've been on, out on business all week those of you who know i spent 15 years working in the lawn care industry for true green and i'll give you my full story at some point but i started on the front lines trimming bushes and shrubs and moved my way all the way up in true green for 15 years and left not long ago to do digital marketing full-time. I know kind of a weird um, transition, kind of something different, but I had a hobby of digital marketing, and it actually centered around lawn care. I'll tell that whole story another time. But anyway, I have no idea why I just said that. But uh, um, So I'm looking on YouTube today, just going around looking at some channels that I subscribe to, and I came across a guy, Tennessee Lawn Care. That's his uh, YouTube handle. I'll link below. And I always watch his videos. He's a good guy. You know, he has a, he's a professional. He does lawn uh, maintenance for a living. And I think, you know, I like this guy. I like the way he sounds. I like his, his demeanor. You know, he seems like an honest dude. And obviously his lawns look good. And so I like his videos and that. But in one of his videos, and I'll link to it below, he actually said that when he air, or uh, he was talking about aeration, and he said when he does lawn treatments, he actually follows my program. He said he follows Alan Haynes' lawn care program. And you know, that makes it all worth it to me because all those years of working for the big lawn care company, I always had ideas about, you know, if I was going to do things, this is how I would do it. And maybe I'll do lawn care my way one day, the way I think it should be done. And even though I've never started my own business, I'm sharing now on YouTube my true passion for lawn care. And you guys can tell if you watch my channel, you can tell that I have a true passion for grass and turf. It's just my thing. And so I always said, you know, if I ever get out of True Green or whatever, I'm going to share lawn care the way I want to share it. And that's what I do. And now here's a lawn pro, a guy that makes his living doing lawn maintenance, uses my program. And guys, that makes it all worth it. So that's the big thank you to the subscribers is that. And I know some of you, a lot of you, I think the majority of you guys are homeowners. I know I have a lot of like kind of like guys that are, I would say lawn kids. Don't take that as a bad term. That's actually an awesome term that you're the neighborhood lawn kid. To me, that's like a badge of honor. I know I got a lot, a lot of lawn kids that watch. I do know that there are some some of you that are lawn pros, and you know I appreciate you guys too because I know what you go through. Being that I worked for the big, huge lawn company for so many years, I worked with a lot of guys like you, and and networked with you, and we did things for you, and we we worked together, you know. And I really respect what you guys do, and I suspect that there's some larger lawn care operators watching too, and I really respect you guys as well. So, whatever you want to call it, let's enjoy a beer tonight, everybody. No matter what walk of life you're from. You have a worked really hard, and you know the best news? The best news that I could give you on a Friday night as we share a craft beer together is, the best news I could give you is that tomorrow morning when you wake up, you get to mow the lawn. I'm Alan Hayne, the Lawn Care Nut. Cheers on a Friday night. Cheers to craft beer, and I will see you in the lawn.